All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, the Ice Dragon, Rayron VR. Today, got another manga spotlight for you guys. This is Komi Can't Communicate Volume 1. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back here and see what we've got. All right, so quite a lengthy uh, background here, but let's go ahead and look into it. Socially anxious, uh, social anxiety. Yeah, socially anxious high school student uh, Shoko Kami's greatest dream is to make some friends. But everyone in school mistakes her crippling social anxiety for cool reserve. With the whole student body keeping its distance and Kami unable to utter a single word, friendship might be forever beyond her reach. Timid uh, Tad Anu is a total uh, wallflower, and that's just the way he likes it. But all that changes when he finds himself alone in a classroom on the first day of high school with the legendary Komi. He quickly realizes she isn't a loaf. She's just super awkward. Now he's made his mission to help her on her quest to make 100 friends. All right. So this is by uh, Viz Media. It's got 9999 USA MSRP. And it is rated T14. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and talk about it. So overall, I did not expect what a cute story this is. Originally, I thought it was going to be about a kind of deaf, maybe blind person. I was thinking, you know, when, when I was looking at this, I was thinking Helter Kelter a little bit. I don't know why I was thinking about that person when, you know, I was looking at kind of the whole title of this. But um, it goes back to the old saying, don't judge a book by its cover, because this is a great little story. Uh, I, I do recommend it because sometimes you never know when you're going to have that friend that um, just has a challenging, you know, some sort of disorder or just makes it very difficult for an individual to be part of society and that the great lanes that a person does a great friend does to try to get that person to um, just be, be friendly, have friends, you know, just do normal social things. And uh, this is a very uh, cute story. I highly recommend it. So uh, that's the best I can say. I definitely enjoyed the story. And with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead now and go into spoilers. So if you don't want to get spoiled, feel free to watch this video at a later time. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So our main characters here, we've got Komi, who has a communication disorder. It's very difficult for her to um, talk to anyone. And because of that, she comes across as very... Um, the perception of her is that she's really potentially, again, this is the perception, is that she's very rude, she's very angry all the time, and that's definitely not the case. And there's a couple references I want to show you guys here, which is really cool. The writer and uh, designer of these panels did a really good job of showcasing characters. So, you know, I'm always a big fan of character pages just letting the reader know exactly who's in this particular uh, manga that we're going to be going through and this is how the author kind of does it with the characters here and so you get to see that you know you get all these characters here and each one of them have their own issues i don't want to say issues but just their own quirks and character traits um we will soon talk about uh tenenu who is ordinary uh, obviously, Kami can't communicate. We've got, um, you know, we got uh, Jimmy, who is sociable. We got the narcissist. We got the aggressive. And a lot of these are kind of like a little bit of spoilers to meet in the future. But very well done panel here on setting the groundwork for the characters that we're going to get introduced to. And so the next character we get introduced to is uh, Teranu, and he's basically kind of the normal one. They're going to this um, Itan High School, which is a elite private school. So you know you have these very smart individuals, but then again they've got their own unique quirks about each one of the characters. So we follow uh, Teranu, and first um, when everyone else has left the classroom, uh, it was Tendanu and Komi who are left, and so they try to 
uh, Tendano tries to talk to uh, Comey, and obviously Comey doesn't. She struggles to talk to individuals, and so they kind of broke the ice in a very cool way. And I give again, I give a lot of props to the author here because the way they communicate is brilliant. So again, with manga, you're used to seeing the little uh, bubble text that um, show interaction between characters and what the author did here was that for Komi and Tadano to communicate they did it on a whiteboard on a chalkboard essentially and what's cool about this is that hey there's no um, uh, communication between these two on this panels because you're used to seeing the text for the bubbles and everything but their conversations are actually on the chalkboard so if you read this like you know from right to left you can see the conversations that they're having and so that's how they kind of break the ice and that's when Tendano kind of realizes oh she can actually talk just not verbally everything has to be written right now and so that's when they start to um, Tendano then gets kind of the idea that okay let's try to make some friends and Tendano was actually friend number one and so the next one and you kind of see kind of the main plot of this story is that try to make 100 friends and they start with the next potential friend, which was um, Najami. And she was a little bit hard at first because she is type of the very socialistic, over socialized uh, individual who likes to make a ton of friends. And originally, she didn't want to make friends with Komi because, again, she had that uh, perception that she was very... Um, self-centered and um, kind of rude because she doesn't really talk to anyone. But again, she has this communication disorder that no one really was able to realize until Tadano came around. So it was difficult at first, but um, Comey then kind of saved and Jamie from some old friends. Um, and it was kind of cool because she was trying to give back the keys to these thugs, but the thugs thought that, oh boy, Kami's going to beat uh, them up, and they kind of ran away. And then Jamie basically um, said, okay, I'm your next friend, and it was really cool. And it was very heartwarming. And so they tried to, throughout this volume, they tried to help with uh, Comey's communication skills a little bit. And then Jamie basically um, orders Comey to try to get a drink. And obviously it's from like Starbucks, but they don't say a Starbucks. But um, because she doesn't talk very well, uh, she or she gets the drink that Co that uh, Ninjami definitely didn't order. But again, the effort was what counted. And so uh, they work on to the next friend. And, uh, excuse me, before that, um, Tendanu then gets a cell phone for the very first time because, you know, we take cell phones for almost for granted nowadays because it's kind of a necessity. We can do everything on the phone. And Comey never needed a cell phone because she never had a friend before. And so you start to see her adventure into the age of the cell phone. This is like what I would like to call it. And so um, Tendanu was, it was cute because Tadanu was basically the first friend for uh, Komi. And you kind of start to see that relationship kind of grow some more. And kind of the next school day, um, there, it was the time to elect a class president. And so everyone decided, oh, let's let uh, Komi be class president. And then Ninjami basically said, no, no, no. Instead of class president, she could be the class god. And this story is just so funny. It's a little bit it, this is what Meta is supposed to do, is that it's very self-aware of what the story is, and you, you'll get a lot of laughs out of it. I was enjoying it. And so we continue on, and we kind of get the next friend, which was um, Himiku. And she basically has an issue of um, getting up on stage and talking to everyone, being the center of attention. She doesn't like being looked at, essentially. And it is very similar to stage fright is the best way I can describe it. And so what ended up happening was because Komi was kind of trying to um, talk to uh, Himiku, uh, Himiku then gets the curse to talk to an in front of everyone and basically thanks uh, Comey, which then gets the next friend. Again, I'm 
definitely generalizing the whole story, but um, I highly recommend you guys picking this up if you just want a good laugh, a cute, laughable story, and it's great. Um, and by the end of it, we get to see Komi and Tadanu and all of the new friends start playing games. And then by the end of it, Komi thanks Tadanu for um, getting out of a comfort zone to play some games with friends. And it is a great, cute story. So that's how Volume 1 ends. Highly recommend it. It is a great story. Uh, I definitely enjoyed Volume 1. I can't wait to watch, or excuse me, read the next volume. So uh, with that, guys, uh, if you have any manga suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you like what I do here and want to support the IC Fellowship, uh, feel free to look at the links down below. Thank you guys for watching, and wing hugs to all and to all. A good night.